What is going on, you guys? There was a video that came out about two months ago from Battlestate Games showing off the state of Streets of Tarkov, the new map, in its current condition. I want to go over it a little bit, commentate over some of the gameplay, and give you guys my thoughts as to when I think this map will actually be released, as it's been in the pipe, in the workings for a while, and also where I think it's going to fit into the Tarkov ecosystem. Let's get it. Alrighty guys, so today we're going to be watching teaser trailer number two of the Streets of Tarkov. We got some comments here from some people you might recognize. Pestily says he is indeed moist down there in the nether regions. 50,000 chads used to live in this city, now it's a rat town. Not accurate, didn't instantly get one-shot head eyes when walking into that open road. Very true, very true. I spend so much time being terrified in Tarkov, I often forget just how beautiful these maps are. It's very hard to enjoy the glory and beauty of Nikita's world when you're terrified you're gonna hit the corner and get one tapped by a scav or uh, a PMC ready to buck for your gear. Everybody, wow, look at those apartments, me and my friends. Is that you? <laughs> Yeah, we team kill a lot. You never know if it's your buddy. You know, we got to wear those little armbands, but you can't really see him half the time and you end up just clapping your friend up. And it's not like Call of Duty or Battlefield. You actually lose your gear when you die, so. All right, so this actual native footage that we're watching here is in 1440. However, my screen recording is 1080 60, so it will kind of degrade the quality just a skosh, but you can still get the idea. Huge open sight line. So again, fantastic opportunity to get one tap from across the street. Um, however, there are a ton of buildings that you can get in. Also, you know, a bunch of rats scurrying around looking for cans of Shanka for their quests and whatnot. Um, overall, though, the lighting in here is going to be awesome, especially when they do implement ray tracing into this game, which is already rumored. They're also going to be doing NVIDIA highlights where it saves your best kills or deaths. Um, so you can just make a compilation for, you know, YouTube or whatever you want to do. And I got to say, this strikes a good balance between tight, close quarter combat inside these buildings, which by the way, most of the buildings you can get inside of. And then also these huge wide open sight lines over here, which by the way, if this were a real raid, you wouldn't be just casually walking like that. You'd probably be running in a zigzag pattern, bee hopping across the street. So you don't fetch yourself um, some LPS GZH to the face, to the face shield. And yes, I know LPS GZH isn't that good, but early wipe it is. So I gotta say, um, even the different weather effects here, like you can see it's a little foggy here, so you might get into some sniper battles peeking through the fog and whatnot. It looks like there's some kind of military base over there with some sandbags and whatnot. This guy's showing off the thermal on this, this meta weapon here. And I gotta say, there's a lot of apartment buildings that you can get inside of, which I'm assuming they're gonna have quests that you have to run on streets of Tarkov or you have to run inside these apartments and whatnot. And that's gonna add a huge layer of verticality. When there's hundreds of windows that people could potentially be in you have no idea where you're getting shot from so over here this almost looks like uh interchange here if you look at it but interchange that's the that's the mall one right anyway you have this massive construction here so there's so many unique areas here you have like a construction thing that looks like it might be on customs you have a mall style interchange thing you have the inside of this massive apartment building here which is unique to streets you have a lot of really really unique areas that are going to lead to a slew of pvp battles um i'm sure scabs are also going to be camped out in some of these apartment buildings and whatnot and i gotta say the scale of this thing looks insane because right now we have large maps but they're not they don't have verticality to them like this where there's a 30 story building that somebody could be up in god knows whatever floor sniping you so this is going to be incredibly interesting. That's probably going to be a quest um, point of interest right there. That dead scab might have a key on him or something like that. Yeah, and all these little rooms kind of remind me of Resort. So it's taking little bits and pieces of all the other maps and then creating a very vertical, open, large map. And I got to say, when is it going to actually come out? That is a fantastic question, and I'm glad you guys asked. This has been rumored for a while. There's been a lot of speculation, even with some of the major streamers like Pestily and whatnot, as to when this bad boy is actually going to be seen. Most likely, this is just speculation here. But most likely, it's going to be on the next full wipe. They're not going to do it as a mid-patch, um, like a mid-wipe patch or anything like that. Most likely, Nikita and Battlestate Games, it's going to be on the next full wipe cycle. But it might even be after that. And I would rather have them delay it and launch this map in, in, in its all of its glory when everything's all massaged out and ready to go. 
than to launch it when it's not completely ready and have to go back and patch a bunch of things. So I would say at the soonest, the next full wipe, uh, maybe the next wipe after that. So it's probably going to be a while, and it's already been a while since this map has been announced. But again, I'd, I'd rather have it be delayed and good when it comes out than rush and ass when it is dropped. So yeah, I just wanted to share this little teaser trailer with you guys. You might have already watched it, but I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on this bad boy. And um, I think this is going to be a sweet map, and you'll probably have to go here if you're going for Kappa, because I'm sure there will be some quests on this map. All right, guys. Peace.